In today's video, we'll talk about the rise of electric vehicle in Nigeria. Well, in case you didn't know, electric cars does run on Nigerian road. From saloon cars to a truck like this, to tricycles like this, to electric car, to bike, and even to buses. In 2020, the Stallion Group launched the Hyundai Kona which was their first 100% electric vehicle assembled in Nigeria. Kona, which is a subcompact SUV, has a very beautiful exterior design and can travel 482 km on one full charge. To put it into perspective, that means with just one full charge, you can travel from Lagos, the southwest part of Nigeria, to Port Harcourt, the south-south part of Nigeria, on just one full charge. I think that is absolutely incredible. The Kona goes for 24 million Naira for the XEL edition, 27 million Naira for the limited edition, and 30 million Naira for the ultimate edition. The car and the battery has about 5 years warranty. Well, of course, you know, electric cars do not run on engines like those ones that have so many components and runs on gasoline, on fuel, it runs on battery. So let's talk about the main issue. How do you charge the electric cars that are in Nigeria? The vehicles can be charged at home using a regular domestic socket that provides up to 240 voltage. And this can be the regular ADC light or just using a strong generator. It takes about 23 hours to get up to a full charge of the battery. Alternatively, you can reduce the charging time to just 9 hours using a special device like the wall box. So essentially, if you live in Nigeria, you can charge your electric car in your house. You do not necessarily need a charging station. However, there is still the issue of electricity because electricity is not constant in Nigeria. And also, if you probably need to travel out of the city and you have to travel a long distance, then you need to have additional charges on the road. Well, this is where the National Automotive Design and Development Council comes in. Under its electric vehicle pilot program, the NADDC is collaborating with Stallion Group, the European Union and other stakeholders to roll out 100% solar-powered electric vehicle charging stations across the country. Sokoto has become the first state in Nigeria to launch solar-powered solar electric car charging station. For a start, three stations have been built. One in Lagos State University, which has already been completed and launched. The second is in Usman Danfodio University in Sokoto, which also has been launched. Why the third is currently undergoing construction in University of Nigeria in Soka, in Enugu State. The charging stations we are strategically located in the university so as to provide access to research and development for students who will be able to have access to this technology, understudy it, and improve upon the systems. All around Nigeria, you find petrol stations like this station everywhere. I'm sure with the increase of electric vehicles in Nigeria, people can actually start building solar powered charging stations probably close to petrol stations like this so that i mean people can just drive in either buy fuel or just charge their cars and keep going on their journey and that can actually be a big business opportunity in the future and if you're looking to invest i mean why don't you do the research and start up right now that could be one area to look into why why no go get tank? Cargo. Where the tank now? Open boots, open boots. You don't know they're not 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 Tesla this. No, there is petrol now. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. My electric car. A lot of Nigerians have been building different electric vehicles in Nigeria. And there are two that actually really stands out, which we're going to talk about next on this video right now. Before then, if you're getting any value on this video, please give it a thumbs up as well as comment below what your thoughts are. And if you're new here, please subscribe to the channel and become part of this community and also check out other content that we have in this channel probably you'll find them interesting first we look at is a nigerian company called max nigeria 
which is manufacturing electric motorbikes. The bikes can travel up to 160 km without a passenger and 120 km while carrying a passenger. A lot of these bikes are already been deployed and used in Lagos and they have a solar powered charging station in few places. They've also developed a swapping station along major routes in Lagos where owners of the bikes can easily stop over and swap their battery while on the move. Recently, the Ministry of Power, supported by the European Union, also deployed 10 of these bikes to rural community in Ogun State in a place called Bemu Bemu. The Bemu Bemu community is one of the few communities that is powered by a mini-grid solar system in Nigeria. So it's also expected that this bike will be charged using the existing solar mini-grid to help in the transportation of the farm goods that is produced in this community. The second case we'll take a look at is one Mr. Abubakar Mustafa, a 29-year-old youth who is based in Bornu State, northeastern part of Nigeria, and also the CEO of Phonex Renewable Limited. This is the future. This is the way we can still maintain our cost of uh, mobility, cost of transportation, and. Uh, this is more sustainable. Mustafa is currently converting regular buses and tricycle from using petrol to using electric and battery powered. The buses he had developed can carry up to seven passengers and can travel about 120 to 150 kilometers while fully charged. While the tricycle can also travel up to 200 kilometers. According to Mustafa, they have also developed a few solar powered charging stations. Currently, the buses are in use in Medugri, the capital and the largest city of Bornu State in northeastern Nigeria. Basically, as long as you can charge your laptop and your mobile phone, you have access to charging that. You can charge your um, electric vehicle, yeah. Besides these two cases mentioned, there are also many Nigerians who are also building electric cars all around the country. One thing for sure is that this electric vehicle ain't cheap, but it could be more cost effective in long term. And also most importantly, it is environmental friendly. So as the world moves towards a renewable energy and push for zero emission of fossil fuel, question is So if you had the fund, would you buy an electric car in Nigeria at this stage? Comment below what are your thoughts in today's video. And thank you so much for being part of today's video and I'll see you guys on the very next one.